I would like to start off by saying how glad I am to be here and honoring Megan. You know, looking back on that day on May 25th, it wasn't an easy day, but I don't know if I would be standing here today if it weren't for all the first responders, especially Megan, and I would like to thank her from the bottom of my heart for that. Now, she's in just your everyday school nurse that you will go up go to for a band-aid or if you don't feel good. She is someone more than that. She is someone that can handle anything. Because of the experience she had and how she was trained, I'm glad to say that she saved my life. You never realize how important nurses are until they do something for you so big that become one of your favorite people. I feel school nurses need to be taken more seriously for the training they have so they know what to do if something awful ever happens again. Noblesville West is very glad to have Megan as someone they know can handle anything. I know I am glad to have Megan at Noblesville West and in the Noblesville School District. Now, I know Megan didn't know that my family and I was coming today, but I'm glad to be here. I would like to present the Daisy Award to Megan Schlater. <laughs> can't express our gratitude and thankfulness for the heroic actions you did that day in order for EMS and everybody to have a smooth transition here and saving Noah's life. So, thank you all. Um, first of all, I wasn't prepared for all this, so um, to my family, my real family and my work family, <laughs> Um, thank you for being here uh, for me. Um, all I can say about that day is I'm so thankful for so many things. Um, I have an ER background, but I've been home. I've been a stay-at-home mom for quite a while with my three kids, um, two of which were at West that day. Um, so as I responded to this, I wasn't quite sure who I was going to go take care of. But I knew I had to be there no matter if it was my own or someone I didn't know very well at the time. So I'm very thankful for so many things. The response of the EMS, you guys were awesome um, and let me do what I started. And then when you came in, it just gave us all the reassurance that, okay, she's in good hands now. And I was so pleased to be able to, to do what I could to help you guys take her to the next level. And I appreciate you guys every day, so thank you. Um, to my work family, thank you so much. Um, I was a volunteer there for a long time, and I grew to love the people there. I love my job. I love the people I work with, and I love these kids that I have the privilege to be around every day. And so um, thank you to Riverview for your support. Um, I truly appreciate it. Um, and um, I love my job, and I'm thankful to have it, and I'm thankful like I said, for so many things that day that um, helped me gain a second daughter. <laughs> I feel like I've kind of become her second mom. Hope that's okay, Julia. <laughs> um, but it's um, it's a relationship that I know will be forever, and I'm I'm thankful for the progress that she's made and the beautiful person that she is. So. Um, Again, thank you, Riverview Hospital, for your support through all of this. I just wanted to take a moment to express some of the sentiments that, that were related to me following the events of May 25th. Um, as you know, one of the victims of the shooting that morning was taken by ambulance to your facility to be transported by medical helicopter. Our people shared with me how impressed they were with the ER, ER staff. One of my medics said, and he was very sincere, it reminded me of my time working as a student in the trauma center. He shared that there were at least four doctors prepped and waiting for him, and that the patient was wheeled in the room, assessed, prepped for flight, and just as fast wheeled out the door to the awaiting helicopter. There were several major interventions taken in a very short time frame by the Riverview team that most certainly helped stabilize the victim. While trauma incidents on a level such as this one are not a common situation for Riverview to have to manage, or us for that matter, seeing the skill in which Riverview personnel handled the situation was impressive and lifted a heavy load off of our field units. So please pass this along with our sincerest gratitude.